Welterweight bout here, Reese McKee making his return to the UFC, coming in at plus 155 against Angelosa, sits at minus 185, over under two and a half rounds, minus 160 for the over, plus 130 for the under. Angelosa coming in here, 29 years of age, 27 years of age for Reese McKee, second stint in the UFC, six foot two, you see the height there, pretty uh, good frame for a welterweight. Uh, out of Ireland, Reese McKee, in his uh, first in in the UFC, got fed to the Wolves against Hobbs. <laughs> I have uh, finished in the first round, then had to fight Alex Morono, who's not an easy fight. I mean, is it, he was an underdog in both of his fights in the UFC, gets cut, goes out to Cage Warriors, and uh, picks up two or back to back round three finishes by KO, TKO, and then a, a win his last time out, and he just beat the piss out of Jim Wallhead. Honestly, I mean, those guys that he, he beat, uh, they're not like world beaters by any means because they're you know fighting in cage wars. They're not fighting in a, in a major promotion, but they're decent opponents. Uh, Justin Burles Berlinson is a decent opponent. He was on the contender series, got knocked out by Johan Linus, but at least he made it there. Um, and then Jim Wallhead, an older guy, I mean, 39 years of age. He didn't really look like he belonged in there with Reese McKee. McKee was able to just put a beating on him, and then the corner was like, yeah, this is, this is enough. Angelosa, uh, one and one in the UFC, lost his contender series fight to Jack Della Maddalena, lost his UFC debut against Manir Lazes, and then uh, a win over AJ Fletcher. He's coming in here as a favorite against Reese McKee. It's an interesting line. Uh, Reese McKee, I don't want to see. He just doesn't really impress me when I watch him on film. But either way, he's six foot two. He puts a lot of volume out there. He's a decent striker. Uh, same with Angelosa. He's a very solid uh, kickboxer as well. Should be a, a good fight. What do you think it takes it? Yeah, I think it'll be a good fight too. Reese, second UFC stint, man. Um, he is pretty long and he's tall and he's going to have a four-inch reach advantage here and I think a four-inch height advantage as well. On the feet, like he gets some late finishes and he's got decent striking, but to me, to the eye, he just looks a little slower. And he's not really hitting you with as many big shots as you would expect him to, being that size. For Angelosa, though, he can crack. And he's shown that he can strike with pretty good strikers and land shots. He's also got that wrestling to fall back on. He's super explosive and powerful. Um, the one thing that would scare me off of Angelosa here is you look at that loss against Manir Lazez, who's longer and kind of that kickboxing style. is kind of looks a little bit like Reese McKee's style at times. McKee not as good as Lazez in my opinion, but you know, kind of that frame and uh, you know, style that Angelusa could struggle with a little bit, but against AJ Fletcher, man, I was super impressed. I believe he was the slight dog in that fight. If I'm remembering correctly and was able to land a couple of takedowns after watching the film and you know, when he needed to and landed some big shots on the feet as well. He is super powerful. Reese McKee does get hit. Um, so that combination right there makes me lean Angelosa to, to get this thing done and, and kind of fall back on that wrestling. If he does get overwhelmed at times or in a tricky situation, I think he's strong enough and explosive enough to kind of get the fight where he wants it to, if he has to. So yeah, give me Angelosa here. Yeah. Angelosa, uh, fights out of kill cliff or at least that's where he's, he's been training at. So I like that for him. I think his his stand up game is really crisp. You just watch like the technique with everything; it's really sharp. He fights fairly long. I mean, he's only five foot ten, but he does fight fairly long. Um, for Reese McKee, like you said, just not super fast with his attacks. Uh, maybe just because he's six foot two, it's kind of like that tall man defense where he can just use his reach and uh, doesn't need a lot of head movement and such. It's gonna be tough, I think. You know, coming. Back, going back to cage where he's having that success, and then you get thrown back against a really solid striker in Angelosa. Like, how, how do you fare with that? Um, yeah. But for Anj, I mean, he, he probably tries to mix in some takedowns here or there because that's something that Reese McKee has struggled with. You look at the fight against uh, Burlinson, like Burlinson had a lot of success taking him down and uh, landing a lot of ground and pound there. That was a, a pretty fun fight to watch. You watch... Uh, it's kind of back and forth. I mean, Burlinson landed some good shots as well. Both of both guys were busted up. And then uh, Reese McKee lands uh, the knockout blow in round three. It was a good fight. I'm interested to see uh, Reese McKee, how he looks back here, because the two fights in the UFC were tough. Angelosa not near the Hamzat level, and I, I 
not near the Alex Morono level, I don't think either. It's tough, I think, to to take Losa at chalk, but yeah. I do think he wins because you know, like the loss to Lazez doesn't really age the best. Uh, I mean, the win over AJ Fletcher was kind of due to Fletcher gassing out too, because uh, Fletcher nearly had a finish in that one. Anj Losa was able to to weather through it and get a win, but for the pick, I'm going to go with Losa. Um, but at the chalk, I don't really like it too much.